July 19, 2007, and I'm out here visiting Don, and and uh, it's the first time I've ever seen. Um, we call this Art Ventures. We do. We call the site Adama. We call the program Art Ventures. Okay. And I know a little bit about it, but why don't you tell me kind of just in the two or three minutes, kind of the 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 big the big marketing, you know, what it is, and then maybe a couple personal thoughts about getting this thing started. How we got this started was this was patterned after the original Bauhaus in Weimar, Germany, and and from Germany it came to Pond Farm, which is up at Gurney, California, and what Margaret Wilhelmine started her school when she got chased out of Europe with Hitler and group, and so she had her Pond Farm growing going out there for years, and then Dean Schwarz started his self fair program up at Highlandville, Iowa. <laughs> And I used to send my students to his school in the summertime because we realized that you can only get so good in the classroom at one time. What you need is continuous learning. If you're going to learn how to ski, if you're going to learn how to do anything, it's, it's doing, doing it once just isn't going to work for you. You need practice, patience, and persistence. So the kids wanted in the summertime to go to summer camps for music. They got really good at things in music. So we needed an art camp. So we started our programs called Communing with Clay, where high school students and college students and professionals came together to teach each other, kind of like the one-room schoolhouse. And you could focus on very specific problems, like the cover jar or the bottle or the dog dish, which was the Bauhaus one. And then out of that idea came up with this idea of a, of a full, full-time year-round facility, which we have right here, which is called Adama. So Adama is the name of the property, and why do we call it Adama? Because potters work with a material called clay, and Adam's name meant clay. Beginning of earth, beginning of time started out with a speck of dust. So if it's an idea or anything, it starts out, something is made out of nothing, but it could be a, your idea could be as small as a minute piece of dust. And look at the universe, it exploded and became a continuing growth of ideas so what we want to do is become a, a place for people to grow the pots get bigger and better each time but they grow inside bigger and better each idea that one has in life take a look at the automobile or the car or the skyscraper people start out small but their ideas keep growing and growing and growing this is a place where people can experience staying at something through practice and patience and persistence and find success and that's what we all do we start out as small children in our lifetime we continue to grow and grow and grow until you know it's never over till it's over some of us were considered to be failures when we were young and now that we're older we realize that we just had to believe in ourselves. we had to have other people believe in us and it was a it was teamwork to get us to this age stage of our life wonderful let me cut here for a second okay so don tell me a little bit about what i'm looking at here now well, this particular building is called Scotty Summer Studio, and Scotty was one of my first students in 1972 at West High School. Anyways, Scotty was was an incredible potter and poet and boxer, and he unfortunately suffered from bipolar disease, and he broke his neck in one of his depression periods, and so, but his legacy lives on and this is Scotty Summer Studio. So the studio, he never got a chance to build. What he did was he left enough of his estate so that future generations could share his dream. Love it. Tell me technically about what I'm looking at here, wheels or Well, this was an old got? mechanical warehouse filled full of crap. And now it's a, a beautiful studio with sliding glass doors and 40 state-of-the-art potter's wheels gas kills, electric kills, and we have a big wood fire kill down, down here. And this all started out by just looking at what was a mess and making something out of a mess to try to make it look really good. So there was an aha moment when we pushed these doors open. Aha moments are when we kind of catch on what it could be. And that door over there is amazing because that door frames the old farmhouse of the early 1900s when settlers came from Europe 
we had to burn the farmhouse down because it was filled full of rats and all kinds of undesirable things. But when we saw the farmhouse burning down, we realized that there was something new being born out of something old. Mm -hmm. And that's the way life works. We all have a beginning. We all have an ending. Right. I'm going to cut. Naboragama is not designed by me because I don't know very much about kill building. So we hired a world famous kill builder who is one of Don Wright's top kill builders, David Smith, who has been to J Japan numerous times and studied the sugar rocky powders. So if you want to be good at something, you study the best. You know, if you want to, you're going to play basketball, you study Michael Jordan. If you're going to play golf, study Tiger Woods. If you want to play the cello, study Yo 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 Ma. And then you'll figure it out because these guys know the secret to, to success. Don't try to do it alone. So this building is something that I designed to fit the kill. Because one of the things I love to do is design architecture. That's I've always had it in my bones since I was a small kid. So what I have fun doing is designing these buildings and retrofitting design. Because design is simply looking at something and looking at something and refining, honing and refining, honing and refining, pushing out that skylight over the top of the building is at 4 o'clock in the morning a.m. when you know it can be pushed a little bit further, taking your idea, push, push, push. So I push that monitor out over the building, bringing glass into glass. And when I told Russell Penchenko, who was the director of the Alvium, what we were going to do and showed him the building, he said, you can't do that for $40,000. I said, watch, watch Russell, we'll do it. And we did it for 37000 <laughs> the whole building. So just don't let money be an obstacle in life. Just figure out a way of doing it and doing it. Money you'll find somewhere. The ideas are the ones that you have to stick with. <laughs> I love it. Cool. Tell me about what the future plans are for out here. So the big picture is getting the experts in against. We have uh, landscape architects working with architects that have designed a whole game plan of buildings and studios out there and museums so a year from now when you come back here there'll be a new retreat center out there this studio here will become a gallery for the kill down there but we'll move all of this equipment down to a new building that will have skylights all the buildings will work together integrated it'll have indoor plumbing it'll have places to show hmm. slides and videos excellent critiques and critiques yeah and all of the above but Wonderful. it will be aesthetically beautiful as well as functional right the ball house was about form and function about about form and function have to be working together and function follows form take a look at annie's pictures down there take a look at her handles take a look at how it's about the uh, four and how the handle fits into the hand so she's thinking about that prior to making it. So it has to, it's, it's excellences by design, not by accident. 